What's up guys? Welcome back to the Our Promising Video course. If you remember in the previous video we have learned how to make a simple basic response to the Our Client. Uh, let's say now we want to make a uh, we want to request some information from the client so it's a basic uh, requirement in all applications we have fields, we have forms that the client sends to the application server so that we can handle and uh, process the information and uh, give, give the response so open the Eclipse uh, here's the, the example we have finished in the previous video so we we will modify it to uh, handle our new case of uh, requesting the information from the client. Uh, so if you remember, here's our uh, main uh, service method that will, will handle all our requests and responses. So it's a uh, override from the base class uh, called HTTP servlet. These two parameters we receive from the uh, Tomcat uh, web server the request and response. So we will use these uh, guys to the um, to request the, the data the client sends to us and make a response to them. So we want to create now some uh, basic HTML form that h has uh, some fields where client could uh, input some data and we can do it in uh, two ways. The first one is we can uh, print some uh, HTML form in the servlet itself so that it looks like uh, let's say we, hel we have here a uh, hello java string in the uh, response output and uh, we can make it copy a lot more and uh, print here the HTML tag and closing HTML tag yeah and in the middle we can create some st uh, content and make a response and uh, for example that would be our form but that's a very inconvenient way and uh, here's uh, code becomes uh, difficult to read and really messy uh, for that, for that purpose, the Java community created some uh, beautiful things like uh, GSP pages. Uh, that's uh, Java server pages. And if you come from the PHP world, you probably remember the uh, how the PHP handled uh, pages. It basically, had the one PHP file in which um, in which uh, which contains the HTML code plus included the PHP script scriptlets and the uh, GSP pages are very similar to the PHP probably except the some internal processing things uh, I don't remember how PHP compiles or pre-compiles or whatever he, uh, it does with the files in the Java world the GSP pages are translated to the servlets anyway and then servlets are compiled and uh, request or response the data to the client so that by using the GSP pages we tell the servlet containers that we want to see that page with that code included and uh, it translates the GSP to the our servlet so that we do not have to do this uh, messy output things with the our output stream but we will use this uh, current servlet uh, to handle and process the data we request from the client and the uh, we will use it also like a uh, uh, model view controller if you know it is a most popular way to handle the pages and flows that is a well spread pattern so okay, let's uh, do the things. Go to the our web content folder. This, if you remember, this is a public folder, and all s stuff in here are public except these two secure folders. So here we create new GSP page. 
type in GSP and uh, we will see the GSP file click that and give the name let's name it uh, default like an index GSP click next uh, choose the template we will use the X HTML uh, and that the uh, this one click the finish and now we have a new GSP page uh, included in our public uh, folder so here's some stuff included by the Eclipse let's go to the body and uh, just in a simple old HTML um, create some web form let's say we want to create the form choose the form method and change it to post and then we want to create two new fields let's say that's a first name and uh, last name and give it the name first name do the same thing for the last name and don't forget to create the submit button let's give it some label um, let's test our initial GSP page let's try run it on the server and let's see what happens okay here we have our uh, GSP page with the two fields and submit button so far so good I think we should create it as the table so uh, let's do extra work and just make it beauti beauti more beautiful so table have three lines here and let's make two columns with the label in first one and our uh, input field in the second column so oh, first one and Oh. 
this is just a merge two columns in one for one submit button okay let's try our modification and see how it looks now in the our browser and looks looks uh, much nicer let's add our labels refresh the page yeah that's cool we now have the form where a client can input some data and send to the our server so uh, here we have a uh, by now action is uh, empty so we wanna reference the our servlet in here so we just uh, let's uh, try um, input basic uh, basically our servlet example name to which we wanna send our uh, requested data let's type in servlet example now if we will submit our form uh, we will be send it to the servlet and uh, right now servlet has no code for uh, our in, in requested data so it will just print out hello Java let's see if it works like I think Yeah, you see, yeah. Um, go back and let's try now to, to request our data from the request object sent by our uh, servlet uh, uh, container. So, to do that, we reference the request object. Let's say we want to create new strings first name and here we choose get parameter and type in the name of our parameter like we typed in here do the second string variable And let's try now uh, output them basically from the servlet itself. To do that, we just uh, substitute this string to this one. Uh, let's care of some formatting here. I think that should be fine save the, our servlet and let's try how it works now let's put here first name and last name click submit and you see the servlet outputs uh, our uh, input data in those fields okay we will continue modifying this example in the next video so uh, uh, join us in the next video